exciting morning. Exciting morning. Kira has a doctor's appointment. <laughs> and that's not the exciting part though. The exciting part is that means I get to spend time with the little ones. Mom, I can't see you the blue. Oh wait, no, no, don't don't eat those, don't eat those. Those are salts. Those are salts. See you in the jiffy. I love you. Bye bye. I can do this. Come on, monkeys. Let's go have some fun. <laughs> Anytime I'm around snow, I feel like I'm on vacation. But you wanna know what will really make us feel like we're on vacation? <laughs> A little bit, you wanna come in? I mean, come on, a jacuzzi sesh? While it's snowing? Tell me this doesn't look like I'm on vacation. Oh my goodness. Bye, Jump. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Three. <laughs> I haven't made one of these in forever. <sighs> oh, kind of a th Thick snow angel, if I do say so myself. Teenies was cute. Look at that. Oh, that's adorable. Kira, I gotta give you credit where credit is due. Those boots. Oh my God, are they cute? Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. See you. See ya. I love you, girls. No better way to start the morning. Staycation with the kids. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I'm getting together with some friends tonight, but there's probably going to be alcohol involved. And so today I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys why I quit drinking. The problem that I personally had with drinking was that it's not just a one night thing. You don't just go out, drink, and get it over with. No, you gotta deal with the hangover the next morning. I hate drinking. We've all experienced hangovers so terrible, we swear we'll never drink again until we do. Cheers! Winter! Cheers! Let's go! And so it wasn't the morning after hangover that made me decide I wanted to separate from these guys. It was actually when I realized that it takes me a week to mentally recover from drinking. I am not kidding when I say that. Obviously the next day you're feeling sick, you're all out of it, and so that whole day is ruined. But then I noticed that my motivation for the following six days was close to zero. Maybe it wasn't like six, maybe it was like three or four, but for those following three or four days, my motivation to work out was less. Mentally, I wanted to do very little other than just chill. And even emotionally, I would feel more down and depressed, which I couldn't really understand. Once I realized that going out for a night with these guys is more than just a time commitment of a day and a half, meaning going out, than dealing with the hangover the next day. It was more of like a four to six day time commitment for me. I realized it wasn't worth it. To get to where I want to be, these things are currently holding me back and I can't allow that. I've already got enough to deal with. Why put some other obstacle in the way? Long story short, drinking for me is too much of an energy and time commitment, especially when I can have almost as much, if not more fun, without them. And so now that you guys know my reasoning behind not drinking, let's go out and have some fun. <laughs> Wait guys, I didn't know what to bring, but I didn't want to come empty handed. Is it lame? I have to. Is it lame that I got low calorie ice creams? <laughs> No, I need it, bro. You look good, and you always will look good. Right? Yeah, whatever. Clearly, these things are a hit. Yeah. Bro, I'm single. You better be careful with all that. Another one. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh. Feel. <laughs> <laughs> like I should.
shouldn't drink. <laughs> I don't want to rub it in your face, but I feel great. <laughs> Still got to have fun with none of the side effects. Nice! <laughs> but I do want to say, I hope this doesn't come off as like a I'm against people drinking video. Truthfully, I don't care. And plus, I like to see my friends have fun. For now, it's just not for me. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!